Hello, this is Marty from the constructionmarketingpro.com and today I'm going to show you how to get your construction website up and running. It's going to take you about 15 to 20 minutes and I'm and this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough on exactly what you need to do to get your website up and running. This is going to be aimed more towards uh, people who have not don't have a lot of experience with website building, but if you do have a website already and you're just looking for something new, this will be helpful for you as well. So, let's get started. First off, let's uh, go to the constructionmarketingpro.com. We're going to look for a tab called Resources. Go ahead and click on that. And down here, I have a link for Bluehost. And this is the host that I recommend. And I just want to be 100% upfront. If you click through here, I will get a small commission, um, but it won't cost you anything extra. And this is the host that I use, and it's I highly recommend it. So click through there, and we're going to look for the big green sign up button. Click on the green sign up button. Now, here's where you're going to enter your domain name. You should have already done some research on this. Uh, my domain name is KansasCityCustomDex.com. Click Next. And here's where you just fill out your information. I'm going to go ahead and start filling this out, but then I'll, uh, I'll uh, skip past it a little bit so you don't have to watch this. You slide down to the bottom. Put your credit card information in, select your account plan, hit next. All right, here's the next page. You got a bunch of uh, different options you can choose from. Uh, I, I didn't want to choose any, but you can look through those and see if you like any of that. Hit complete. All right, next click create your password. And here's where you're going to put in your new password. And then down below you can you can put in your pin or you can have an option not to do that. I, I decided not to do it. And click submit. Alright, you're just gonna log in again with your password you just created. And hit no thanks here unless you wanna you wanna choose one. And that's it. Now you're logged in. All right, just this pop up here, get rid of that. And then slide down. Okay, we're just going to slide down to where it says Site Builders, and we're going to click on WordPress. I'm going to show you how fast and easy this is. All you have to do is click Install, and very soon you're going to have a website up and running. Alright, that's all good. You don't want to put it in a folder. And I'm just going to unclick all of these extra plugins and themes, which I'm not going to be using. Um, re click I've read the terms and conditions. And hit complete. And now we just wait for this to load. This is this is the fastest way to get a website up and going. And uh, okay, so do you just want to note your username and your password here? Um, if I was smart, I would have went ahead and just copied that. Then you click on your site URL, and let's see what our new website looks like. Okay, so this is what our brand new website looks like. As you can see, it's the standard uh, WordPress template. And I'm going to show you right now how to uh, modify this to make it look decent for your contracting website. So you see up here is the headline. Here's the header. Some... Uh, navigation bar the body and a sidebar let's go ahead and log in and I'll show you what to do so click down here and log in and we're gonna use the username and password from right over here so we'll just copy that and log in so this is the back end of your website. 
And so first thing I'm just going to do is just close out a few of these things. They're just uh, letting you know that your website's up and going. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is change the heading on our website. So I'm going to go over here to Appearance and uh, Header. So I don't like the way this, this image looks. You can either choose your own, but basically what I'm going to do here is just get rid of it. So I'm going to click Remove Header. And now let's go take a look at our website and see what it looks like. Okay, the header's gone, and now we have just another WordPress site. So we're going to change that next. Go over here to Settings and General. And the site title, I'm going to call it Kansas City Custom Decks. And the tagline is um, Building Custom Decks in the Greater, greater Kansas City area. Okay, and that's just about all we need to change here. So save changes. Let's take a look at what we've got. Refresh this. Okay, Kansas City custom decks, building custom decks in the greater Kansas City area. Perfect. Next thing we're going to take a look at is getting your home page set up. So right now, your home page is just this page. It's actually your blog, and this is a sample page. So I'll show you that. This is just a sample page. Let's fix that up. So let's go to back to our uh, uh, back end, and we'll go to Pages. Um, so we'll just delete this sample page, hit Trash. So we're going to go ahead and add a new page. Click Add New. We're going to call this the home page. And I'm going to paste in some lorem ipsum text. This is just a for, the, for a filler. Okay. And I want to add, just add a photo. So I'm just going to click here. Click on this little button to add a photo. Okay. And we'll just select a file. I have some downloads. Deck one, open. There it is. And we'll change the name to custom deck. And you should probably fill in the rest of this, but I'm going to skip that for now. Well, we're going to align it to the right, and we're going to use the full size and insert into post. There you go. Now you have a photo in your post. And what we'll do here is change the template from default template to sidebar template. And that'll add a sidebar to your page. And we'll hit publish. Okay, now that that's done, we'll just go look at our website and see what's happened. We'll refresh this. Okay, so you still have the same original home page, but here you have a page called home page, and that's what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and fix that so that it's the actual home page. So go back to our back end. We're going to hit settings, reading, and your front page displays a static page, and we're going to select home page and save changes. Now let's see what we've got. Okay, so now we just have home, home page. There we go. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is add some more content, the pages of your website that you're going to need for your contracting website. So here we go over to pages and add new. First thing we're going to do is add an about us page. We'll call it About Us. We will insert some text and we'll change the template to Sidebar and Publish. We'll just add a new. We'll call this Services. Add some content. Change the template. And Publish. We're going to do the same thing, add a new one. 
Um, we want a, uh, a photo gallery. We'll add some content. And change the sidebar. And I'm actually going to call this something else. I'm going to call it uh, Portfolio. And we're going to publish that. Add a new page. We're going to call it Client Reviews. This is where you're going to put your testimonials. And we're going to hit fill that in, change the template, and save. Okay, we're going to do one more. And that's the Contact Us page. Now, all of these pages. Are, are, this is essentially the minimum that you're going to want to do to get you have to have a, a high converting contractor website. So now that we've got all the pages set up, let's go and see what our website looks like. There we go. Home, about us, client reviews, contact us, portfolio, and services. Now the first thing that I notice is this is not in the order that I'd like it to be. It's in alphabetical order. So we're going to go ahead and fix that up right now. So go back to your back end. We're going to click on appearance and menus. So first thing we need to do, create a new menu. We're just going to call it main menu and create. Now we're going to come down here to pages. We're going to add all of the pages. So select all of these and add to menu. We're going to select a primary menu as main menu. And then we're going to put these in the order that we want. So we want homepage first, the about us, uh, client reviews. That's not what I want. There we go. Client reviews, um, portfolio. I want services up here. And then the contact us is last save menu. And then we'll go look at our new page, refresh that. There we go. Home page, about us, services, client reviews, portfolio, and contact us. All in the order that we want. Now the next thing I want to take a look at is this. This is a comment box and it's very helpful for a blog, but it's not very helpful and it makes it look unprofessional for a contractor's static website, which is what we're building. So let's fix that up. Back here to the uh, back end and we're going to go to pages, all pages. Now, if you click on the quick edit on each of these pages, you can deselect the allow comments update. I'm going to speed through this for you. Okay, so we've done that. Let's go back to our web page and see what it looks like. There you go. It's all gone. And now the last thing we're going to take a look at is the sidebar. Right now we've got a search. We've got two searches, so we're going to get rid of all of this. This is this is not something you guys need to worry about for your contractor website. We're going to put other things over here like a phone number to contact us, um, a book now button, um, some testimonials. So let me show you how we're going to do that. We'll go back here to our back end, appearance and widgets. Now just see these are all the things you have in your sidebar right now. We're just going to get rid of those by dragging them off. They'll disappear. And we're going to add custom text here. And this is going to be the contact us now. And then we're going to put our phone number here. Uh, 888-555-1234. And we'll just go ahead and save that. And we'll close. And then we'll add another one, a text. And we're going to call this one client review and we'll just put in a testimonial here the deck the Kansas City deck guys did a great job on our deck and we're gonna we'll just copy that a few times so 
so we'll get some content in there. Well, here you'd really want to put your real reviews, and then we'll hit save. Okay, and let's go see what we've got. There you go. Contact us now, a client review, um, and some text here. And we've got the beginnings of a really good looking website. So obviously what you'd want to do is change some colors. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. We'll do that right now and see what it looks like. So we'll go to um, background. And we'll select a background color. So I like a nice green for this. Uh, we'll see how, whoops, nice green for my background. And save changes. And let's go see what it looks like. There we go. We're on the right track. Now, this is just this is the easiest way to get your website up and running. On the next video, I'm going to show you the template that I recommend. It's not free, so if you're if you want to uh, save some money, you can do it this way. And this is going to be good enough. You will generate leads uh, with this website. You just need to spend a little time working on your content working on your client reviews and all of this stuff like this and get your colors right. And this will be good enough and you will get leads. But I'm going to show you the, the, the template and exactly how I use, uh, what, exactly what I use to generate tons of leads for my contracting business. So stay tuned and I'll show you the rest. Okay, have a good day.